my lovely flowers, it's me Nia with the Exquisite Flow Design and Events and today I'm coming to you to talk about the Focal Flower. So before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm Nia, a flow designer. I haven't been in the flow industry or a florist or floristry or however you say it for the past two decades. I was formally trained and I'm over here teaching you everything I know because I do have a master's in education. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that you like and subscribe to my video and don't forget to go over and join my membership uh, channel for less than or for about a cup of coffee. You'll get to learn my experience as a wedding wire uh, with a wedding, with not a wedding, with a wiring service, the ins and outs to that. I teach you how to make a flow refrigerator and a plethora of information. So don't forget to go over there. Anyway, today we are going to talk. So I've been talking about the different functions of a flower. So in the video before, link up here, we talked about the base flower. Now we're going to talk about our focal flower. And as she suggests, she is the show, the flower that is going to, to just, I don't know how you were saying, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about the focal flower. So the float, the focal flower and arrangement, she is going to be the focus. She's going to be the one that's going to show you just everything about this beautiful arrangement. She is usually the expensive flowers in my arrangements. When I have a focal flower and a centerpiece, I usually just don't go more than three. If it is in a, um, a, a bridal bouquet, she usually, I usually, usually only have five. It also depends what the focal flower is. Now, most of the times and a lot of times, our focal flower is going to be like a peony. It's going to be like a garden rose. It's going to be like an uh, philanophysis, I hope I pronounced that right, orchid. Those are what's going to be your focal flower. Those are the ones, like I said, they, they, they cost a lot. Unless you go to Trader Joe's, I know a lot of times Trader Joe's have um, peonies at a excellent price, cheaper than what I can get from my grow from my grow, uh, wholesalers. So those are what they are. usually they're strategic. Stri 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 I can't even pronounce it. Strategically placed in your arrangement. They are going to be the ones that stand out. They are going to, like I said, be a little bit more expensive. They can be large or small. It's all up to you, but that's what they are. So don't forget. Oh, I hope I explained it to you good. So you guys know what a focal flower is, right? Comment down below and tell me what is your favorite focal flower. For me, a lot of times, which I'm trying so hard to get out of, is a rose. Um, a garden rose, but not depending on the client, the budget, but unfortunately, a lot of times it's a garden rose. <laughs> Anytime. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're not already a member, go over there and join. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hee <laughs> hee.